For this lab experiment, we will be using Logger Pro 3.1 data collection software. You should already have a shortcut to this program on your desktop, but if you don't, you can go to the Start menu and find it under the Programs. Once Logger opens, you'll want to turn off the tips that open at startup. If your temperature probe is properly connected, you will see time and temperature listed on your data table. If it is not, you will only see X and Y. Take this moment to make sure that your temperature probe is properly connected. In order to simply check the temperature, move the mouse over the graph and you will see a reading on your screen. In order to start collecting data, move the mouse to the start and stop on the upper right corner and click it. For this lab, you will need a few materials, as demonstrated here. You will need one standard lab issue hot plate, which you will turn up to high at the start of the lab. Logger Pro data calculator and the temperature probe along with two or three rock samples depending on your group size. Make sure that the Logger Pro calculator is plugged into the back of your computer in the USB port and that your Logger Pro software is on and running. Also make sure that you've remembered to plug the power cord for the Logger Pro data calculator and probe in appropriately. Make sure that you have a partner who's ready to help you with the lab. In order to begin, we must first ascertain the temperature of the hot plate that will be heating the rocks. Take the temperature by placing the tip of the probe to the hot plate and turning on Logger Pro. When the bar on Logger Pro's graph is flat, it means this is a constant temperature and this is the temperature of the hot plate. As according to your lab manual, after each step you must quench the probe in water and then dry it off carefully to make sure you get it back to room temperature. Next, you're going to use the probe to take the temperature of the table which should simply be room temperature, but we need to make sure. Again, when you're done, quench the probe and dry it carefully. When you're ready to begin, have a stopwatch or a cell phone with a stopwatch function and start it for 60 seconds after you've placed the rock using the tongs onto the hot plate. The rock will heat for 60 seconds, and then you will remove it. Once it is put, placed on the table, Logger Pro will be started, and the probe will be placed on it to start determining its temperature. If you must move the hot plate, grip it by the base, as it will be hot. The rock will probably be over 100 degrees Fahrenheit, so be very careful in handling it. Repeat these steps for your second and then your third samples. Turn your hot plate off when you begin taking the temperature of your very last sample, as you will not be needing it any longer during this lab. Once all of your data has been collected, you will need to make sure that your graph is readable. In order to do this, you need to right-click on the y-axis of your graph and change the height to whatever value is the line just above your highest curve. In this case, 50 degrees Celsius. Print your graph and attach it to your lab write-up. Make sure you label which line is which 